What is the structure and function of the adrenal glands? Well, part of the endocrine system and located on top of the kidneys. The adrenal glands function mainly to assist the sympathetic nervous system in the stress response and to produce, therefore, steroid hormones that target kidneys, gonads, and the liver. The adrenal glands have two major parts, the adrenal medulla and the adrenal cortex. The adrenal medulla is mainly responsible for aiding this stress response, also called the flight or fight response. The flight or fight response will occur whenever something causes you distress. For example, if you get alarmed by the sound of a gunshot in the middle of the night or being chased by a bear. When this happens, your body activates or speeds up the work of certain body systems and shuts others down. This careful and speedy coordination among body systems, such as a simultaneous jump in heart rate or, um, and blood glucose levels, and the inactivity of the digestive, uh, immune, and reproductive systems, is the work of the brain telling the adrenal glands to release two hormones into the blood. These two hormones are called epinephrine and norepinephrine. These two hormones raise the blood sugar levels in the body by increasing the rate of glycogen breakdown by the liver. So we'll put increases sugar. Ultimately, these two hormones increase and extend the effect of the stress response even after the danger has been eliminated, which is why you might still feel stressed out even after a traumatic event even though the danger has passed. The adrenal cortex, on the other hand, has a very different function. This outer part of the adrenal glands produces uh, glucocorticoids, sex steroids, and mineralocorticoids. Glucocorticoids function to, one, cause the liver and other cells to produce glucose from fats and proteins, and two, act as an anti-inflammatory agent. Sex steroids produced by the adrenal cortex, such as testosterone, matter little because there is an abundance of these hormones produced by the gonads themselves. And mineral corticoids help the kidneys to reduce water loss. A major mineral corticoid is called aldosterone, which causes the kidneys to retain sodium and return it to the body. When sodium is removed from the urine and returned to the body by the process of osmosis, water will follow along with it. Overall, the adrenal glands are critical to many different parts of the body. Luckily, we have two, just in case.